And we start at 530 with a safety alert. The chill is back in the air, which means it's time to fire up those furnaces. New Center 16's Jan Cardone spoke with experts on what you can do to stay warm and safe this season. It's time to fire up the furnaces. And sooner rather than later. Even if you're not turning it on for good, run it for 5, 10, 15 minutes. Just make sure it works. If it doesn't work, you know you need to call now instead of waiting another few days and it's colder and it's colder and it's colder. We're looking at making sure that the face of the burner is clean. It's also important to have it serviced once a year because 80% of breakdowns are dirt related. That also means changing your air filters regularly. If you starve that heating system of air, it's going to work the parts on the furnace harder. Any fuel burning device emits carbon monoxide, so experts want to make sure you have a working carbon monoxide monitor and change the batteries too. And if you don't have those detectors, please go out and get them. It's a, such a small price to pay for what could be huge consequences. Firefighters also want to warn you about the dangers of space heaters. We usually get a few calls um, every year from a space heater. And it's a lot, it's, it's a, a little bit of different causes. Um, some of it is that things are too close to them. Other things that they're improperly plugged in. A general rule of thumb is to keep them in the middle of the room with at least three feet of space. I mean, but three feet, you're still going to feel the heat. It's going to warm up a room. Be sure to plug them into a wall outlet, not a power strip. And with that, you're all set for the cold. Jen Cardone, New Center 16. And don't forget to clean your fireplace. Firefighters warned that they too can spark a fire if not properly maintained. Also be sure to unplug that space heater when you leave the room.